Hey guys, Taylor here, the FedEx Pat, back with another video. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about whether or not China is safe for foreign visitors now in 2024. All right, guys, now before we do that, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for some more videos on life in China and travel videos and fun videos just in general. All right, guys, I'm trying to grow the channel this year. I've made it to 1,500 subscribers on the last video got a lot of likes a lot of people helping out the channel i really 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 appreciate the support guys so be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to that channel all right guys let's get going here All right, guys, so if you're thinking about visiting China for the first time, whether it be for tourism, for work, for business or whatnot, you might be wondering, is it a safe place for me to visit? OK, maybe you've heard some negative things in the media or, or whatnot, or maybe on YouTube from uh, from different people. Who knows? OK, but I've been here for the last 10 years and I can I can honestly say that China is completely safe for you to visit as a tourist or foreign visitor. OK, now. You, I mean, I, I, I've got comments on my channel before, like, oh, how can you trust the, the communists? You know, they can just take you at any time, whatever, you know. Uh, I can assure you that if you do not break the law, you're going to be completely fine. Okay? I will say this again. If you don't break the law, nothing is going to happen to you. Okay? It's the same as if you're traveling to any other country. Follow the laws. Follow the rules. Don't be stupid and you'll be completely fine. I can assure you. I can assure you this. Okay? Trust me. There's over a billion people here. Nobody gives a fuck about you. Okay? If you're coming to see the Great Wall, you're doing sightseeing, okay? Uh, you're not you're not fucking James Bond or something. Nobody gives a shit about you. Okay? Just don't break the law and I can assure you you will be completely fine. Don't listen to these fucking idiots on YouTube or whatever, wherever you're hearing this. Do not listen to them. China is completely safe. Nothing will happen to you. I mean, as far as the, the government or the police are not just going to take you away for no reason, okay? Nobody cares about you. All right, so just follow the law and you will be fine. All right, now let's talk about crime and violence here. Now, China, of course, you know, has over a billion people. There's a lot of people here. So, of course, crime does exist. All right. I, I, I will never say that China is completely crime free. That's just stupid. OK, of course, there's crime here. Now, as far as crime goes, you might you might want to know that the Chinese government is very, very strict on crime. OK, they punish people that break the law. They punish criminals. Unlike some places like Canada, where I'm from, or some places in the U.S. where criminals get a slap on the wrist or get let off. OK, I mean, I saw in the news from back home in Canada, a, a, a police chief or somebody, uh, somebody in the police uh, in a, doing a news conference saying, you should leave your car keys at the front at the door of your house because the people breaking into your house, they just want to steal your car. OK, so just leave the car keys. Uh, yeah, we don't have this problem in China. OK, uh, they're very strict on crime here. And you might you might also know that China is heavily. Uh, there's a lot of cameras. OK, there's cameras everywhere, at least in the big cities. OK, so, you know, if you do something, chances are you're going to get caught. Uh, it's, it's not difficult for them to catch you. OK, so I think that deters a lot of people from committing crimes here. And the fact that they are very strict on crime, uh, it, it just it, it's it's a lot less evident, you know, you know, like, listen, I, I'm not I don't want I'm not talking shit about North America, but let's face it, crime is on the rise, especially in, in places like Toronto, where I'm from and cities in the U.S. like Chicago, uh, Chicago, New York, places like this liberal run cities usually. Uh, crime is on the rise and you'd be an idiot if you if you didn't didn't couldn't see that from the news and stuff like that. And, you know, one thing we don't have to worry about here is gun violence. And I'll tell you why China is very, very strict on guns. It's basically impossible for people to buy guns. Like Now, you know, I'm not a, I'm not an anti gun guy or anything like that. Um, yeah, but, you know, it does make it a lot more safer. I don't worry about, you know, getting shot. Or anything like that if i'm going out in public okay uh you don't have to worry about any kind of you know guy opening fire in a shopping mall with a gun it just doesn't happen here it's it's almost impossible to get guns you ne you never see that here now 
things happen. I mean, you we, there have been stuff. There has been stuff in the news about stabbings that have happened in you know like uh, um, train stations and stuff like that. This it has happened. Okay, I'm not saying violence does not happen here, but it's just not as common as some places in the West. Okay, so I'm really you know you don't have to worry about it so much. I mean, your chances of getting involved in a violent crime here are probably much lower than they are uh, if you're visiting a place like uh, Los Angeles in the United States or New York City, okay? You're much safer here, to be honest. All right, so another thing that I wanna mention is China uh, in the big city, at least the big cities like Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, Shenzhen, there are some tourist traps that you might have to watch out for, little scams, little tourist traps, but these are things that you might encounter whenever you're traveling anywhere. Now, and these things, they don't just affect uh, foreign tourists, they also affect Chinese tourists as well. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna get into specific tourist traps, but there are videos on YouTube that you could check out that will uh, give you a little bit of advice to follow to try to avoid these tourist traps. I suggest you check them out. Now, I have pers I've been to Shanghai, I've been to Beijing, I've been to all the tourist attractions, you know, the Great Wall, Tiananmen Square, all that. I have, I have not fallen victim to any tourist traps, thankfully, but I do know that they are, they do exist. I have seen videos on them. You can check them out on YouTube yourself. These are the little things that you do need to watch out for. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it. To be honest, if you just, if you're coming to China, uh, you know, if you're here legally and you just obey the law, don't break any rules, don't be an idiot, you're not gonna get any trouble with the police or the government, I can promise you that, and you're gonna have a really great time. And as far as violent crime and this kind of thing, just keep your wits about you. You're, I would most likely not gonna be involved in any violent crime, I can assure you that. And you know, just keep your wits about you, just pay attention, there's a lot of people here, a lot of cars, especially in a big city. You gotta be careful where you're going, but you know, that's like anywhere you go. All right, guys, I can assure you that China is perfectly safe for you as a foreign tourist, foreign visitor now in 2024, all right? Uh, you know, I, I couldn't recommend it enough. If you've never been to China, you should definitely come and check it out. The food is amazing. It's a fascinating place. It's, it's a really beautiful place. There's a lot of beautiful things to see. And you know what, Chinese people are, are really great. You know, you'll meet people. You know, I, I, I've, I, I couldn't tell you enough good things about it. Okay, guys, and I highly recommend you come to check it out uh, if you ever get the chance. I, I couldn't recommend it enough. All right, guys, that's it for the video today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to, to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for some more videos on life in China and just travel videos, fun videos in general. And now, this channel is not a China channel. It's my channel. And, you know, I just, I'm sharing with you some things about the country that I live in. I've been here for 10 years. And, but I, I do like to make videos about other things, traveling. I'm going to be doing some traveling soon to Europe and other places. So I'm going to be vlogging that as well. I love food. I love beer. I love fitness. And uh, I just want to share that with you on this channel. All right, guys. So be sure to subscribe to the channel. Until next time, this is Taylor, the Fit Expat. Have a great day.